In this video tutorial, we will see that how can we make a generalized shape file and through which we can be able to download any raster image from USGS Earth Explorer. Uh, for this task, I am just adding any shape file uh, to generalize it. For example, this is a map, <coughs> a Google map with me and I want to download the Ankara area, Ankara shape file. So this is an Ankara shape file which I have already downloaded. Just I want to show here on the map, uh, Google Maps Ankara. So the data is already available with me uh, in the shape file format. Uh, from that shape file format, we will create a generalized shape shape file uh, to which will uh, we will be able to download any uh, raster from uh, usgs earth explorer now coming towards the connect folder option as i have kept the data on my desktop so i will click uh, here the shape file here are three different layers just i will click the admin one we are the provinces level data is available uh, so here you can see that i am opening the attribute table and the attribute table i will allocate to the uh, specified shape uh, of the ankara so in the table you can see in the attribute table ankara and uh, now uh, the ankara has been selected through attribute table just to uh, uh, create only a layer from this uh, portion I will create click a create layer so here you can see that the data is being generated zoom to layer uh, you can see that uh, this is the Ankara shape file I just remained it and now you can see that this is the Ankara uh, the process now which I will carry for uh, generalization the, uh, the shape file I will first create the uh, shape file polygon so clicking the editor before clicking uh, the editor I will create a new shape file in the catalog tree so here uh, I will click uh, uh, in, uh, there on the shape file uh, which will be purely a polygon because whenever you create any shape file uh, for an area uh, you will create a polygon feature type uh, now I will change it to polygon and the coordinates are unknown for this particular area so I will click here WGS 1984 and click OK OK now the shape file I want to edit this shape file because there is nothing you can see here that it is an empty uh, table uh, for editing purpose I will just uh, go to the editor bar where I can edit this shape file Cl uh, clicking the start editor now you will see here that Ankara shape file now clicking the create feature click feature polygon uh, for the purpose of uh, downloading data from the USGS Earth Explorer the points must be minimum than 30 if the points are greater uh, the vertex points are greater than 30 then it will not be uploaded to the uh, USGS and we will, un we will be unable to download the data so now you can see that I'm generalizing the the uh, shape file for the purpose to download the data from USGS Earth Explorer and now I will click save edits and stop editing the shape file is generalized and uh, the new shape file has been created
click data and export the data now i will export this data along with the projection if the projections are not available with any data then it would not be able to uh, be uh, to, to download any uh, regional data because it requires projection uh, for example latitude and longitude are the most important geographical features which are required just naming it generalized ankara shape file or any you can give so ankara generalized and i will click shape file and will click save and okay do you want to create a layer here on the so depending upon you if you want to create the layer here you can leave it otherwise you can no uh, here you can see that the file the folder consisting uh, seven uh files now coming towards the shape uh, the folder again and add to archive after archiving we will be able to uh, save uh, to upload this kind of uh, you can give zip zip uh, you can uh, archive it as a zip file so uh, after zipping then we will be able to upload the file so coming towards the usgs earth explorer clicking the usgs earth explorer click the earth explorer usgs here i am logging already uh, before downloading any data from the usgs earth explorer you need to be uh registered with them otherwise you can not download uh, any kind of data so there are different options for downloading the, uh, the data uh, however you have created the shape file so i will click this option shape file here you can do with the circle with the polygon with the predefined area and you can give the date from which you want to acquire the uh desired data different options are also here uh, like cloud cover and uh, in the cloud cover you can change the cloud uh ratio for example if you need the data having more clouds then you will be an, uh, you will be able to perform uh analysis so you should uh, try to Uh, download the data having less uh, cloud covers assigning any date for example from 2012 to 2022 and you can see here that uh, here are different options so i will click the land set data in the land set data there are different uh, sensors i will just click the land set add data and click the results in the results option it will give me uh, different trials for this particular ankara shape file you can see that the process is running and the shape file uh, the here here are some uh, data now i will click shape file after selecting the shape file it will give me the exact data of ankara as you can see that the up, uh, for, uh, the shape file is uploaded this is the shape file which we have made through our gis now click the results click in the footprints it will show us the footprint of an image 
for uh, of any satellite so here the satellite is landsat at oli these are different tiles for the particular area if the area is large then there will be a lot of tiles if this particular if the area is small then the area and the, the tiles will be required less here you can see any tile you select will show you that of acquire and row and path also i have selected four tiles for my generalized shape file if the area is small then it may be covered in one tile or if the area is large it might be covered in more tiles however if the shape file or the area of interest lies on the edge then it will require uh, more than one tile just clicking the data you can see here a lot of formats the there are different bands here you can see that there are different bands and the size of this particular image is 1.22 gb but i'm just want to download this the natural color image uh, the color uh, will be on the natural and nothing will more mean the size of the image will be less so here you can see I'm clicking save it is just for one uh, trial uh, doing for all these tiles the data should be downloaded now all the images have been downloaded and i want to display all the images here so clicking uh, the data add data button and uh, adding all the downloaded images coming towards desktop and you here you can see that uh, different tiles that we have downloaded are available here selecting all of them you can see that all the images has have been added hope you got this video tutorial thank you